Hello, my name is Domini Pereira, and I'm a research associate at the Faculty of Architecture and Urbanism at the Bauhaus University, Weimar. And my interest in developing a toolkit is linked to the challenges that I faced and continue to face during design studios with both um, with students both from here and my own country, Sri Lanka, where we look at sites riddled with many forms of environmental injustice as a context of learning. So we focus on particular moments where a sudden event, such as the fall of the 60 meter waste dump within a slum in Colombo, would create a sudden break in the system. And the biggest problem I encounter in the training of design students who are immediately thrust into the site in these after the event mode of operations is their reliance on systematic strategies that provide some kind of an environmental fix. And the more closer one is to the crisis, so for an example, let's say in the global south, the higher the desire for the quick fix, which in turn renders the complex systemic relationship between social, political, and ecological inequalities invisible. So the type of education that helps the student to advocate for a specific change and the commitment towards that change is problematic in this context because the, the real challenge of dealing with the questions of injustice are the problems of the change of change. So I want to explore the possibility of developing sensitivities where the students remain committed to navigating the complexities of the process of change itself. Commitment to the change of change requires a continuous questioning of categories such as global north, south, stakeholder identities, or even the victim or savior identities that the students position themselves in. And a commitment to the change of change requires not only critical historical tools, which um, we have a good deal of, but instead a set of active and speculative tools, which there is a lack of. And commitment to change of change requires perhaps less seriousness, but more playfulness, and as such, at the moment, I try to work with playful tools that operate beyond language limitations so that one can continuously remain playfully engaged with the daily struggles and paradoxes that emerge to the never-ending process of justice making.